can a sub 12 air rifle shoot slugs? Stick around because we're going to find out. So the rifles that we're going to use for this test are going to be three rifles. We're not just using one. What we're going to be using is a BSA R12 CLX Pro, a BSA Ultra SE which has been Ratworks tuned and has a lane regulator fitted. It also has a nice custom paint job and my trusty Air Arms S510 and all of these are in 177. This one has also been Ratworks tuned and has a regulator fitted. And this is our selection of slugs that we're going to be shooting today. Nine different slugs, various brands, various weights. It's going to be interesting to see what results we get. So we're going to load up the BSA Ultra magazine first and we'll see how they do. Up until this point, the Ultra and the S510 were getting the groups at least on the target. The R12 just had an absolute nightmare with pretty much every slug that I used. The best group that I got out of it was the Zan 13 grade, but even then, it still wasn't the best group. It was quite shocking to watch. And not only that for the R12, slugs were falling back into the action when you cock it. So we've had to resort to a single shot loader. Which seems to have helped the problem quite a lot but group still didn't improve. Right, that's the 20 yards done. I don't think the R12 was a big fan of any slugs then. Uh, Air Arms and Ultra did pretty good. So we'll go get them, we'll take a look. Not the tightest of groupings with any of the rifles that we just used and any of the slugs, but the one slug that did stand out slightly was a Zan 13 grain, which shot really well through the Ultra. As for the R12, that looks like I used a shotgun. So now a bit more of a challenge. We're going to set them out at 40 yards and see if they start grouping much better there. Thank you. 
40 yards done, again, we'll go collect our targets and we'll have a look. Once again, the Ultra took a liking to the 13 grain, that was a brilliant group of 40 yards. The Air Arms took a liking to the Pro Hunter 10.5 grain, and the R12, I could only get two slugs which would produce an actual group. So it's time for a little bit of fun. What we're going to do, we're going to take the R12 and we're going to throw it away because it's absolutely hopeless with slugs. We have the Air Arms S510, BSE Ultra SE. We're going to shoot some Zan slugs, 13 grain, at 100 yards. Okay, first up, BSE Ultra SE, 100 yards, 13 grain Zan slugs. Well, the Air Arms has been around for quite a while, but I'd still consider it more new school than old school compared to the Ultra. Let's see how we do with this. Wow, that looks impressive for both rifles. We'll uh, quickly on Mosey down there and see how we did. Might be a while, just give me a minute. We'll check these results in a minute. Whew, but they look pretty good. Well, it's certainly been a very busy afternoon. We've put a lot of slugs through all of these rifles, all performed very differently with different slugs. But there was one slug which was the winner, which seemed to perform the best in every rifle, which was the Zan 13 grains. The R12 was a bit disappointing didn't perform as well as I would have liked it but it is what it is you've just got to buy different slugs and just try them there might be a slug out there for it but enough of the R12 the real stars of today was the Air Arms S510 and the BSA Ultra particularly the BSA Ultra this is the cheapest the oldest and the cheapest scope it outperformed everything here it just beat the Air Arms in a hundred yard test I can't believe and I've actually got the results down here that is at 100 yards. The one little flyer there. The air arms didn't do too bad really, but that is such a fantastic group. Like I just said, oldest rifle, cheapest rifle, cheapest scope, and the shortest barrel as well, which I forgot to mention. That is very surprising. Firebird targets. They say you've got to use these at close range using high powered air guns. So here we are at 100 yards. Two targets. Let's go try that. Okay, so here we go. Zan 13 grain, basic Ultra SE, 100 yards. Ooh, just gone over. Come down a touch. A little bit higher there, so come down a tiny touch. Oh, have some of that. Get in. Right, let's try for. Let's try to get two in a row. Come on, don't let me down, Graham. Don't let me down. Oh no. A bit too low. Oh, I've gone too high. Got a little bit low. I'm gonna get it. Oh my god. 
I'm just, I'm just touching it. There you go. Some of that. That's amazing. 100 yards, sub 12, on a Firebird target, and they say you've got to shoot them really close range and you can't use a sub 12. That's 100 yards. That's fantastic. And a hell of a lot of fun. Shooting slugs in a sub 12 air rifle at 100 yards shows that the slugs are still carrying quite a lot of energy down range a lot more than what a pellet would. Those firebird targets are really fun to shoot. I'm just taking the target out of the ground on this piece of aluminium and my slugs are actually just on the floor here. You can just see how much they've completely flattened against that aluminium. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you want to try slugs in the sub 12 I highly recommend doing it and I highly recommend you try all the brands that I've got here. Today with the Zan slugs which seem to be performing the best but you may have a rifle which performs better with something else. So I hope you found this informative, hopefully I've given you some information which may benefit you, like I said just buy every brand of slug that you can just to try them in a sub 12, you never know what will work. Some brands seem to be more consistent than others, I seem to find that the Zan slugs, Wildman slugs and Pro Hunter slugs can be quite good but just give them all a try. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.